Today I want to show you the Santa Margarita River Trail. Now this is in the northern part of San Diego County, close to Temecula. It's unique in that it is all shaded here, mostly shaded here, unlike most of the trails around here which are kind of open and exposed. So it's a good hike to do on hot days and it follows the Santa Margarita River, which is right here, beautiful river. It's allegedly the only unobstructed or um, sort of messed with river here in Southern California. There's no diversions, dams, or obstructions, or paving that you see a lot of the time here in Southern California. This is the way it always was. Now, this route that the trail takes is also the route that the first railroad that connected San Diego with the Transcontinental Railroad in Barstow followed. Railroad is long gone. Um, now it's a nature preserve full of animals. Uh, just this morning on this guide, I saw a coyote, I saw a mule deer, I saw hawks, I saw a heron. So if you want to do it, I as always have the full guide on hikingguide.com where there's maps and parking information. But otherwise, let me show you the turn-by-turn -turn directions to this beautiful spot. So the trail starts at the preserve here, and there's a pretty big parking lot, but it does get full. So make sure you come here early. Uh, there are opening hours, which I have on the website. Now, when you come in, they have little trail maps. I do recommend picking one of those up. And there's also a donation box. This is all run by a nonprofit here. This is not a state park, so uh, please leave a couple bucks if you can. There's porta potties, but we're going to keep heading straight up the trail here. And right away, there's a junction, there's a split off to the left. Now, there's other trails on this trail network. Um, Many of them are for horses, and that was a horse trail off to the left there. Uh, but we're going to stay going straight here. So pick up a map. It's, it's helpful to have as you go along here. Also a GPX file, if you know what that is, I would bring that. Now, after the beginning, there's a narrow section here um, where you kind of go up along the canyon wall. And you'll see the river, the Santa Margarita River down there to the left. Now here... There's another horse trail going across, and the horses actually go through the river. So if you try to go across there, you'd have to walk through the water. But the trail kind of bifurcates there and comes back together. And this is the only really narrow part of the trail. And you can see it kind of hugs the canyon wall. It looks worse on video than it is in real life. Um, but it is a little narrow. If there's other people coming, you might have to move to the side. We're going to continue to go along here and then eventually the narrow section ends we'll be right next to the river it's so nice and peaceful here and uh keep hiking up here and you can see it's nice and flat and easy to follow here as we go up along the river and we're just going to go straight and you can see also there are some sections that are roped off. We want to give the area um, the respect it needs to stay on the trail. This is not a place where you go in the river and tube and drink beers. This is more of a place that you share with nature. Here there's a trail off to the right. We're going to continue down to the left here to head down along the river. And there's a feature here. You'll see these posts there and they're all marked with uh, a number and a letter they correspond to little markers on the trail map. So you can get your point of reference by looking at the trail map and seeing what number is on that post. You'll also notice here that the trail is nice and wide. This is actually where the railroad ran. If you go to the website, I have um, some waypoints in there that show you where you can see some track and where you can see some blast holes from when they blasted the uh, track bed out of the side of the rock. There's also benches like that throughout the whole hike, which I love. Uh, really scenic, beautiful hike. Now at this split, you're going to kind of counterintuitively bear off to the right here. We're not going to go down to the river. We're going to go up here, kind of divert away from the river from a little bit. We go through this little field of boulders, continue through here, keep heading up. And again, you can see it's nice and shady as we go through here. Now this intersection is important. We're going to make the right here and head uphill. If you want to do a shorter, just flat hike, you can just go down to the river to the left and then turn around. But to do the full trail, we're going to go up to the right. Continue going up the hill. Now the trail 
um, comes to this T, we're going to make the right continue uphill. I'm going to go all the way to the top of this hill. It's only a couple hundred feet. It'll feel steep when you're on it, but it's not too bad. When you get to the top up here, you can see there's nice views back down behind you. You can also get an idea of how far you have to climb. Not too far, but we're going to go all the way up here to the top of the hill. And we're going to make the hard left to continue down the hill um, and back down towards the river. Now, this is a nice stretch. You're going to get some nice views off to the east here to the higher peaks in the distance. And actually at the bottom, you're going to go through this dry stream bed here and go down around. And then right after this, you'll see a bench. And then after the bench to the left, there's an old car. Now, the power company used to own this uh, only for about 80 years, I think. There's the old car. The power company wanted to create a dam. They weren't able to do that. So the um, Wildlands Conservatory bought the land in 2018 and made it into the trails and area that you see now. But at one point, you could drive in here, wreck your car, and abandon it. And that's what that you see there. If you want to buy the car, you can just send me money on PayPal, and it's yours. But after the car... There's a T. I'm going to make the left-hand turn here. And there's a little uphill section. Uphill is a strong word. It's a gradual uphill. Um, and this is a nice section because you're going to get some nice views as you kind of climb up along the river here. The river is going to be down below you to the left. But we're kind of climbing up along the top of the canyon here. And you can see you get views across to the mountains over there. But eventually you're going to go downhill. There's going to be a trail joining in to the right here, which we're not going to take. We're going to keep, keep going down back towards the river. And then right after you make um, kind of repair to the left here, you're going to come out at the river. And you're going to make the right. There's a trail down there if you want to go check out the water and the area. There's little beaches, beachy areas down there. Um, but again, you make the right here to continue up along the river. There's no swimming in the river. Again, it's a preserve. It's not a, uh, it's not like a tubing, drinking beer kind of area. Now, here's the intersection with the uh, trail that goes up along Rainbow Creek, which is another great little stretch of trail. If you wanted to do um, different trails here, you definitely could do this and combine it with other trails. But we're going to go down to the left. Then soon after that, we're going to cross Rainbow Creek, which most of the time is just an easy hop across these rocks here. Up along there. And once you cross the creek, uh, there's a nice flat section. It's all exposed. There are some exposed sections, so it does help to have some sunscreen and water here. And eventually, you're going to come out at this parking lot, this uh, trail end area, trail board. We're going to make the hard left here and go through the fence. And again, there's a marker there that corresponds with the printed map that the, uh, the preserve has for you. And when you go down here, there's another little trail breaking off to the right there. We're going to continue to the left and wind around down through this beautiful area here. The trail's a little sandy, but the views are nice. And then at the end of this section, you're going to come out at the end of the Santa Margarita River Trail at the beach. Come on down here, enjoy the beach. The water's crystal clear. You can see in there, you'll see bass, maybe some perch and fish and uh, soak it all in and then you just go back the way you came and that's the hike so that is it what a beautiful beautiful hike i definitely recommend it it's not a long one it's not a tough one but it is a beautiful one worth uh your time so please do check it out now if you're watching this on youtube uh, if you want to say thank you you can just hit that little thumbs up button that helps my channel out helps other people find the video hopefully do the hike safely and if you are watching on youtube just remember there's a link to the guide right under the video that has directions to the trailhead, um, trail maps and parking instructions, gear to bring, everything you need to know in order to do the hike safely. So uh, anyway, enjoy it, it's beautiful, and I will see you guys out there. Maybe I'll see you here, the beach. Very cool spot.